Hi, this is Amar Jyot, and today is uh, October 20th, 2017, and I'm here to report about uh, coming change to Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program, as you can see on the screen. AINP is a nominee program just like many provinces have uh, all across Canada. AINP uh, was quite popular in the previous years because uh, many applicants who were students or on existing work permit, uh, they could immediately launch the application as soon as they had a job and they started the job. But seems like that that will change in the coming months, starting from January 2nd, 2018, as you see on the screen, there will be some changes, starting with how they categorize the streams itself. So all these uh, streams will be combined into one stream with one set of criteria, which is now called New Alberta Opportunity Stream. As you see, uh, if I can highlight, it's called Alberta Opportunity Stream. Uh, there is a self-employed farmer stream as well, but uh, today we are not going to talk about the farmer stream today uh, because that's a total different um, application criteria. There's one more stream called Alberta Express Entry Stream that will also be launched to keep uh, pace with other provinces who are also selecting from Express Entry Pool through through this channel. All right, so let's take a look at some summary of what those changes are coming. As usual, applicants must meet all criteria at the end time of application, which of course is given. There are some ineligible occupation as well. Um, we don't want to talk about those right now because they are very select few. Uh, but you know, if you want, we can. Um, I guess you can go to the website and take a look. I mean, those are very highly selective occupations which are not eligible. But for majority of applicants who are under some kind of work permit, uh, they probably will qualify. Must have temporary resident status as a foreign worker, which is a given, of course. Uh, must have a LMIA or a select LMIA exemption, of course, that is also given, something like a postgraduate work permit where the exemption is already implicit. English language or French language, uh, CLB4 is quite low, and, you know, it's. I think most students definitely will have those covered uh, already. Some some occupations like 3413, which is nurse, aides, orderly, and patients must have higher, of course, that's fine. Uh, down below must have equivalent of Canadian high school diploma, which of course many students will have the ECA. Uh, tradesperson must have uh, the uh, the journeyman, what's called like the trade credential. So that's uh, that is uh, that is a given. Uh, let's look at something else. Uh, here is the biggest change. Uh, what we are looking at on the screen, they must have. 12 to 18 months full-time work experience in, in, in Alberta. Now, this was this was not so previously. In fact, today, is, uh, if you wanted to apply today, this is, this is not a prerequisite. If you had a job today, you can apply tomorrow. But I think starting from January 2018, this will change. So you need to have minimum of 12 or 18 months full-time work experience in Alberta. And then you can apply or in the same occupation, or if you have uh, similar experience overseas, uh, you know, uh, overseas, like outside Canada, then you can apply to it. Then, of course, you need 24 to 30 months. So 12, 18, or 24, 30 outside. So that, that, is, a, that is a big big change as we're looking at. The job offer must be bona fide, of course. There's no doubt about it. Bona fide, of course. Uh, there's a minimum requ income requirement as well. It's not enough for you to have a minimum job, uh, minimum wage rate job, and then you can make qualify as it's happening now. Uh, you need to have, based on the family's unit size, minimum income for a single person is 24952 So that's a wonderful change. That's a good change. So these changes are coming in 2018, as you can see on the screen. There will be a cap, there will be a limit uh, by ANP as all PNPs uh, put put in cap in, uh, and that will will vary uh, in all sectors and occupations, uh, all, all throughout the ANP. 
let's look at uh, this is a fact sheet of course I already discussed what is going to happen this is going to happen on or before uh, I mean the application on or before January 1st uh, under old stream that can go but after January 1st 2018 all app streams will not be accepted so that's that's pretty much the change it's, it's a very basic change so uh, you know, you got to be, um, I mean, if you just got the job in Alberta right now on an existing work permit, you need to apply for ANP right away. Otherwise, starting uh, next year, you better have minimum 12 months to, to get the uh, ANP pre-qualifying criteria met. All right, so I hope that, uh, you know, answers the question, and um, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much.